didn't mean to hurt your feelings, okay? I, I just think Brenda's taking advantage of you. Well, then Fair Maximista misunderstands. The Divine One and I are great friends, loyal compadres. Yeah, because you're waiting on her hand and foot, running all around town, picking up her favorite organic vegetables and flowers and who knows what else. No, the Divine One is most appreciative of the Jackal's humble efforts. She, she, she's always kind and, and generous in the extreme, and she has a loving heart and a gentle spirit. It isn't real, Spinelli. You mean nothing to Brenda. You are her errand boy. And when you figure that out, you're going to be heartbroken, and I'm not going to stand here and watch that happen. I think that you should move out just for a little while until she's gone. I can't. The Divine One needs me. And I will not and I shall not let her down. You are the gum at the bottom of her cartulo pump. Namaste. Oh. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> Thank you so much for the yoga video. Oh, oh It's really, it's great. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brenda. Maxie Jones. Oh, you're Maxie Jones. Oh my gosh, you're all grown up. I'm Kate Howard's first assistant. That's amazing. Oh, you're brave too. I hear Kate Howard is the uh, editor-in-chief from HAL. Yeah, she's pretty high maintenance, but she's yeah. smart and I'm learning a lot. I'm really sorry, but um, judging from the men you usually go for, there's no chance in hell you have real feelings for Spinelli. So do you mind just staying away from him? Oh, I... Oh, got it. Uh... <laughs> and so now, why, why uh, wouldn't you want Spinelli and I to be friends? Because pretending to have feelings for Spinelli like that when you really don't is selfish and unfair. As Max Misu would know all too well, because that's exactly what she did. I'm not just going to stand here and watch you manipulate Spinelli. Why would I manipulate Spinelli? You're taking advantage. Oh, no, no. I promise you I'm not. I'm, I'm so grateful for everything that he's done for me. I mean, if it wasn't for Spinelli, I'd be sitting around here eating frozen pizzas and... Oh, thank God. Can you please tell her to stop complimenting Spinelli? Please do not interrupt the divine one. I don't let him call her that. Mm. Uh, you know, I think he has little cute nicknames, right, Jason, for everybody? You can call me whatever Yeah, he you thinks you're Ariel Blaine mm. and that you kung fu your way through the cyber world in a lime green cat suit. Oh, no, I don't wear lime green. Everybody just be quiet. Look, the Jekyll is well aware that the divine one is not to be confused with Ariel Blaine's super spy. Yeah. Good. Maxie, you need to leave. No, not until you back your supermodel ex off of Spinelli. Okay, whom the jackal befriends and on what basis is no longer your concern. Why did you even bring her here? See, I told you I shouldn't have come here. You're just gonna stand there and let her destroy Spinelli. No, no. Uh, what's happening? I I'm sorry. I was just being nice to someone who's being nice to me. I mean, we're just friends. We are just Do friends. Do you see what a potential for disaster this is? I mean, Spinelli actually believes her. So when he wakes up and realizes that their friendship is light years away from the Ariel, Brenda, Blaine, Barrett that he thinks she is, he's going to be crushed. I kindly do not discuss the Jackal and, and the Divine One as if we were not in the room. He thinks that they're a we? Maximista does not okay, get enough, to choose who... Enough. Look, I don't raise your voice because you yeah. have Spinelli. Oh, don't tell Jason what to do in his own house. Stop like talking. Me. What have you done to Spinelli? About. Spinelli's gone out of his way to make me yeah, feel but welcomed. You're not, you're not here to be waited on. You're guess. here to be kept safe. I don't see why you're here at all. The danger to the divine one is very real. And I don't know why you need to cut the crust off her bread and leave him. What everywhere. are we talking about? It is an honor to make the divine one feel welcome in our home. Yeah, but it's not good for you, Spinelli. I think maybe you should move out of here for a while. Uh, okay, so look, I I'm not gonna have Spinelli move out of his own home. Oh really? <laughs> then who's sleeping in the regrettably pink room? You or Spinelli? Look, I, it, I was glad to move into the weight room, and 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 Maximista. I, I have to remind you that my choice of friends is mine alone. You are a glorified butler, Spinelli. No, no, not even. You're like an intern that doesn't get paid who has to run around getting coffee and picking up everyone's dry cleaning. Oh, she's really hot for Okay, you. you need to leave now, Maxie. You're kicking me out? I've done everything that you ever asked me to do, include perjure myself on uh, the stand when everyone okay, thought Sonny okay. killed Claudia. As Maximista has chosen to befriend the dubious Dr. Matt Hunter, so I have chosen to befriend the Divine One. Can't you see that Spinelli is in serious trouble? Okay, Spinelli, I already told you the only way you should be helping Brenda is in your office searching for information on the Balkan, right? Yes, I understand. Okay. Is there anything you need before no, she's, I... she's fine. fine. <sighs> oh, it's adorable. You need to back off, Spinelli. Spinelli isn't like anyone else you know. Sometimes he has a hard time telling the difference between what's real and what's cyberspace. Yeah, but what are we talking about? You know I'd never do anything no, like that. No, I understand true. that. I understand that. But you're so nice to him and he reads into it too much. For all we know, he's out planning your wedding. No, no, 
don't know. We're friends. We, we talk about yoga that, and organic but if food. If he thinks and... that you have something in common, that makes him that much more vulnerable to you. Okay, well, clearly this is a misunderstanding because in the maybe two conversations mm -hmm. that we've ever had, we talk about basically nothing. Okay, but the problem is if Spinelli's falling for you, he's going to fight for you, and that's what worries me. Okay, I don't want him to go out and try to prove himself and save you from the Balkan. Okay. So can you help me with that? Yeah, I got it. I'm sorry. I, I got it. I understand. <sighs> See, this is just one more reason why I shouldn't be well, here. Well, that isn't I even up for debates. Here. You're, you're here. I need That's you to it. take care of this situation for me, please, right away. And then and can you just... You need to talk to Sonny and, and tell him that we, we need to just leave each other alone. For now. Here are these labs that you were yelling about earlier today. Thank you. And this one, whatever she's got to say, you don't have the time. I'm sorry, Epiphany, I will keep it brief. Spinelli is in trouble and Matt is the only one who can help me. Spinelli is different. Yeah, but he's certainly not stupid. He's an innocent. He has a pure heart. She's taking advantage of him. Is there any chance that you're projecting your own guilt here? I don't feel guilty. I'm freaking out because Spinelli thinks he's in love with Brenda and I don't know how to protect him. Okay, all right. Well, maybe it's time for you to decide if you can allow Spinelli to live his own life. Well, you live yours. Aging Dr. Katie Brown.